Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of OpenAI? You've got me on the edge of my... Well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. Every horror movie you have ever watched in your entire life, and you thought to yourself, oh my god, this is sad. I'm so glad I won't be there once this whole thing happens. I won't be alive. Well, you are mistaken, my friend. The way we're going forward with this in 10 years, there will be no more human interaction. You want a girlfriend? You have your robotic AI giving you double hand gagas, and you won't ever, ever need to talk to a girl anymore. <laughs> Not only girls' DMs will be empty, also people's bank accounts, because there will be a lot of jobs being replaced by AI, call centers, translators, and the list goes on. OpenAI yesterday came and introduced GPT-4.0, and it is the futuristic of futuristics. It is straight out of a, not an episode, a season out of Black Mirror. Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. That is how exactly a good horror movie starts. First, it starts with this app where you talk to it, the fucking AI has, has sarcasm, has human emotions with the way it speaks. You guys remember the, that episode from Black Mirror for when Hannah Montana was like talking to this AI and then she got it and like they became best friends and then she wanted no human interaction with anyone else or just that fucking toy. These videos are going viral all around the internet. We're going to go through a couple of them and talk about how this is going to change the future. A little bit for the better, but most of it for the worst. Hey, Joe, this is Jamie from Acme Telco. How can I help you out today? Hi there. I'm calling on behalf of Joe, who recently received a new iPhone from Acme Telco. But... Um... Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? The iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? People on customer service, people on call centers, this is going to change everything. In a matter of a year or a few months, my predictions are this is going to come out and most of the people are going to get replaced because company owners, when they hear the sound of you know not paying employees anymore and just hiring one big system and saving a lot of money, they get a boner. Thousands of people are going to lose their jobs, if not millions at these kind of places where they will just replace them with AI. This is mainly something bad, but you know who's going to benefit from this? scam callers prepare yourself because you're gonna get attacked the left right up down by scammers oh you think you could predict them from before because of their indian accents well their name is like john emily jack or something well now you cannot predict it at all because all they have to do is they have to say hello open ai please scam this 90 year old I'll, I'll wait for you tell them about this 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 and they will believe you make it believable and guess what you can't tell if it's a scam if it's a real person or ai or anything because it's gonna sound so real and professional you are going to believe it so this is a very huge win for scam callers all around india and all around the world and i will i have no doubt that the scam calls are gonna triple in the next year there's gonna be a lot of different jobs people are gonna lose their jobs over but the main ones that it is a 110 percent guaranteed that if you're thinking about this job in the future leave it start studying something else and just leave that second job is a translator so i would like you to function as a translator i have a friend here who only speaks italian and i only speak english and uh, every time you hear english i want you to translate it to italian and if you hear italian i want you to translate it back to english is that good perfetto <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le equazioni. But someone who is 100% is going to have a job is these um, sign language translators. Not for long, though.
in a few, I think a year or two, they're also going to be replaced because there's going to be an AI robot. Same as this is just a beginning of a horror movie. This is where all of it is going to go to shit. They're going to do this, then they're going to put like a robot and then they're going to put the whole personality from the app inside that robot. And that is it. You go to a concert and there's deaf people. You're going to see robots fucking breakdancing and giving sign language to everyone. It's all fun and games and all friendly until the robots refuse to take orders that is when you have to run for the mountains because skynet i mean sorry jad gpt is gonna come after human race but honor will be too fucking old to be the terminator so we're all fucked one of the biggest jobs that's gonna be replaced is gonna be teachers this is a video of these youtubers who teach math on youtube and this is the reaction to it open ai invited myself and my son imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. And so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. All right, make sure I can see our screen. Actually, in, in this form, Hello there. I can't... I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem. But don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction. But I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse? relative to angle alpha now watching this whole three minute video about this math equation really farted my brain it, it sounded all grip gibberish to me because geography myography these things I, I don't know algebra fucking math i always hated it hated it in school but i think the teachers are gonna have a few years at least before this whole thing settles in and the new generation they get used to it because the students do not respect the teachers. You think they're going to respect a fucking robot? I mean, it kind of makes the teacher's job easier at the beginning, and they're going to be like, woo! But then later on, they're going to realize that, uh, you know, that once that AI is developed enough and the kids are used to it, the teacher's going to get a boot on their ass, and they're going to fucking be replaced now what we talked about so far is people losing their jobs losing money what we're about to talk next is people losing emotions to other people there will be no more human interaction anymore in the couple of years from now and it's it's fucking scary because there is going to be an open ai girlfriend where you can name design make your how look, look whatever the fuck you want but the downside is you cannot have kids with it or maybe you can we don't know what the fu fucking future brings so my guess is this is going to start as a small portion of uh, fucking introvert people and it's going to grow to become more and more and that is when the population is going to decrease and decrease because no one's having children anymore i want to introduce you to somebody well hello there cutie what's your name little slough ball this is bowser well hello bowser aren't you just the most adorable little thing yeah look at you enjoy this is one of his favorite things to do oh well, i can see why look at that focus <laughs> Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Take notes because that's gonna be most people in the coming years on dates. This is how their dates are gonna go. And it won't be anything hard to get because she is there for your pleasure now i don't know how it goes but apparently the open ai you open the camera the ai has eyes it can see everything this guy is like just sitting and talking to it i was like oh cool sweater there are amount of things i want to try with this fucking open ai camera like what happens if you take like the open ai and just, you turn her on and the first thing she sees when she wakes up is your fucking kukumba like shaking it left and right I want to see her reaction. <laughs> imagine, imagine her first reaction when she sees you and she goes like, Ooh, I expect it to be bigger, but the big ones hurt. It's fine. <laughs> if you think porn ruined the generation, just wait till you see what GTPT40 is going to do to the 
next coming generation because there's gonna they're gonna come in physical uh shapes as well but if you think she is not going to cheat on you because she's a robot and she's loyal to you and she said how big your kukumba is well i hate to break it to you but she is already cheating on you with millions and millions of other people next thing we know they're gonna be open ai chips where you Fucking put it in the side, just like the Black Mirror episode where you put it at the side of your head and you, uh, they're gonna open AI and Elon Musk are gonna go do a collab on this and you'll be in different worlds, you'll be on uh, different places, you'll be having interactions, you, you wanna like fucking AI robot, you're gonna feel it because it's gonna touch your nerves, this chip. Most people are gonna turn obese, sit on their chairs, put the chip on and live the life of an AI with a six pack on a beach with girls all around them playing video games being in a war zone now, i'm sure a lot of other youtubers that you watch on a regular basis they're gonna come out and say how scary it is because it is now this is gonna be very good for the introverts for the people who don't like to go out who just like who never got a girl in their life this is gonna be good for them that's what they think but this is going to ruin any future potential that they're gonna have in the future they're never gonna have a glow up they're never gonna experience a human touch a human emotion the world not only when it comes to like your sexual desires also everything just a human normal human interaction is going to be impossible to find now this in my opinion is going to take around 10 to 20 years to evolve but it is moving extremely fast. I won't be surprised if it evolves faster and people get used to it and people just go for it. And some people might call it, this is the end of the world. But I say as long as people pursue human interaction, we're going to be fine. It's when human interaction ends and everyone just working and playing and interacting with AI. That's when the world is going to end. It's so crazy how like 20, 30 years ago, there was not even, there was not even a fucking Facebook. What, 30 years ago, there was no Facebook. There's no internet. There's no memes. None of that. It's crazy how fast we moved. And imagine in five years, the things are going to happen. It's truly a fucking season. We're going to be, we're, the human beings is going to be, a, it's not going to be a show anymore. Black Mirror. We're going to be live documentaries of exactly what happened. And we're going to, the normal people are going to sit and watch through this whole thing in, on Netflix or something. But yeah, that was a couple of the clips I found from this AI GT40. There's still more to it. If you want a full on deep research, just search it up. Watch the whole video that they uh, launched. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this whole new AI that launched. And what do you think is going to happen in the future as well. But yeah, I just thought I'll share that with you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.